Um, it's the first uh, report of the new Chigos uh, affiliate, Chigos DACH. Um, um, we were approved by coordinating board uh, in May. I'll come back to that. Uh, um, and I'll give a status update on the things which happened since then. And for the Chigos days, of course, it's completely new. So I'll give a little bit information, not only about our progress, but uh, also about Chico stuff itself. Um, it's a joint presentation together with my colleagues, which represent the working group on um, Chico stuff. Johannes Böhm, Johannes Baumann, Roland Peil, Markus Rotara and Harald Schuh. So Chico Dach. Um, Dach means, uh, or DAF rep, uh, stands for, for Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, as it is indicated here. That's a mixture of different languages, but in total it's DACH, and the German word DACH means roof. So it's uh, something which uh, forms us together, and it's used uh, as, as an acronym for this region consisting of Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. In Geodesy, there is a long and uh, successful history of cooperation in uh, these three countries under the umbrella of the three national geodetic commissions of Germany. That's DGK of Austria, ÖGK, and uh, Switzerland, SGK. And um, as I already indicated, the colleagues, uh, we have also uh, presidents or vice presidents of these commissions in our group, Harald Schuh for Germany, Johannes Böhm for Austria, and Markus Rotara for Switzerland. And uh, last year, we, we had a lot of discussions in participating in GIGOS, um, joining efforts in our countries, in our region, and um, based on this, in better exploiting the potential of GIGOS in terms of science and infrastructure in general, looking at the IEG perspective, it's also about scientific services, of course. Um, in addition, um, the, uh, there, there was uh, or exists a strategic white paper on Geodesy 2030, prepared, developed and written by colleagues from all three national geodetic Commission, so it's really a broad understanding of what we uh, consider as important for the next decade in geodesy, and there are a lot of uh, aspects which uh, directly fit to GIGOS. As I said, it's written in German, but uh, we um, are just about uh, to prepare an English uh, translation which could then be provided to, to our scientific community as well. So looking at the, the present state, uh, Chigos DACH was approved by Chigos Coordinating Board as Chigos Affiliate on the 19th of May this year. Um, I already mentioned the coordinating group and I myself, uh, I'm chair of this uh, coordinating group. It's, let's say, the kickoff situation in this regard. We did some first steps, but of course, we'll continue. Um, our understanding of the role of Chigos DACH is to provide a basis and forum for Chigos related activities in the DACH region, as it is uh, indicated for Chigos affiliates as well. So, the regional topic, uh, the, the exchange, the multi technique topic um, and also the, the involvement of agencies in this region. That's uh, completely our interest and, and this is our focus or will be our focus stimulator and incubator for GIGAS related coordinated research in particular with respect to third party funding. Um, some formal steps. Uh, we nominated uh, two representatives of Chigo staff on the one hand in the coordinating board, that's me, and, uh, and uh, on the other hand uh, in the consortium, that's Markus Rotacher, and we also contributed to the Chigos DACH representation on the Chigos webpage. I saw in the program that uh, there will be more information about that. It really looks excellent. I just uh, 
So the the um, graphic um, the figure on on uh, products of Geodesy that's really well done. And um, of course, we have regular reporting to GIGOS. That's uh, what I do or we do uh, today, and also to our national geodetic commissions. The German national geodetic commission will meet by the end of November, and then we will also report about the progress. But what I would like to mention in particular is that we are um, uh, establishing a close exchange and cooperation with GIGOS Japan. GIGOS Japan as the first um, successfully installed uh, GIGOS affiliate with the goal to, to establish a network of GIGOS affiliates. And just this morning, we had the first official meeting between the colleagues from GIGOS DACH and uh, GIGOS Japan discussed various uh, topics. Toshi was uh, following um, my uh, presentation with his on GIGOS Japan may add uh, what is missing. But uh, on the one hand, of course, we need to organize uh, such networks of GIGOS affiliates and also encourage other countries and regions to participate as well with these particular um, characteristics which countries and regions have. And uh, we also uh, are planning to go beyond that in order uh, or by raising funds. There, there are bilateral um, possibilities to do that, to, to um, have um, dedicated seminars and also dedicated uh, fundraising for projects. Um, our uh, major uh, task uh, was uh, to, to involve more stakeholders in the DACH regions. And for this purpose, uh, we sent out a call for participation in July this year. And this call was just closed 10 days ago on October the, uh, uh, the 1st. And um, we had... Uh, 17 expressions of interest from all three countries and from universities, research institutions and national agencies. And by thus, I think it's a really good coverage of all the interests um, which uh, we have in the DACH regions. And uh, I think you are all aware of the situation. There, there have been significant contributions um, from the DACH region to GIGOS also in the past, and it's, it's ongoing. But there are further institutions uh, which would like to be involved, and I think that's a very good starting point, really, to set a focus on these topics. I will talk about um, specific topics uh, when I show the next slides, but at the moment, I think we really have a good cover coverage. Of course, there is Still, um, this call has been closed for, for, let's say, the formal reason that we need uh, to talk about it and uh, discuss the further steps. But nevertheless, uh, interested participants are still welcome, of course. So by the end of this week, our coordination group will evaluate the responses and uh, really um, discuss what uh, the next steps should be, will be, we will organize regular meetings. Uh, this will be discussed as well. Uh, now that we know uh, who is going to participate and uh, we will have a uh, first meeting uh, con uh, concerning coordinated research proposals. This is planned for spring next year. And here we really want to raise um, significant third party funding. This is my last slide. And I want to show you what we just received from uh, or as, as uh, responses to our call. That's an exemplary selection. It's, it's not really complete, but I think it's, it gives a quite good picture. And uh, really also looking at, at the mostly mentioned um, topics, well, this was uh, on environmental observation and monitoring. So GIGOS, uh, in, in particular, for this purpose, we see 
the different uh, subspheres of the Earth, the water cycle, for example, mentioned, but uh, also other disciplines uh, with close connection to our interest, which we can help and they can help to get a, a more complete picture of our Earth. Second one, of course, is about uh, observing systems and networks. There were four major topics, the enhancement of the existing observation techniques like the LBI, SLR, LLR, GNSS, or the more geometric ones, um, persistent scatterer, interferometric, SAR, radar techniques as uh, still um, upcoming technique, but uh, which is already used in geodesy to some extent. And then of course, uh, other techniques and, and related networks as well, like leveling or gravity. Then of course, and uh, this is uh, also particular interest in, in the Dach region, novel observation concepts, GNSS reflectometry as uh, one example, but uh, optical clocks, networks of optical clocks as well, um, quantum gravimetry or time and frequency. So very new, very innovative, but also very challenging techniques, also challenging for uh, um, technology, uh, methodology and geodesy. It's very promising. So this is the second major topic. The third one is multi-technique integration beyond the well-known and well-established classical approaches as it uh, um, is according with uh, or according to Chiga's vision and mission. And finally, this was already mentioned in other talks, geodetic infrastructure, observatories, observatory networks. So this, this is one big topic then um, about uncertainty. This was also mentioned a couple of times in terms of modeling, quantification, propagation, and also minimization of uncertainty. And finally, data products. This also goes along with the structure of our white paper, which I talked about. This is very close to that. So data products, for example, in terms of multi-technique reference frames, unified uh, European geoid, but also like um, temporal and spatial variability, including consistency issues, looking at the heterogeneity of data and models, which need to be um, compared, combined, and integrated. And finally, geophysical fluids, mass changes, mass re redistributions, 3D velocity fields. There were other topics mentioned as well. So this is what we received as an answer to our call for participation. I think uh, this is good progress. And the next task will be um, to, to work on that, work with that, to prepare a regular, um, yeah, regular kind of operation of Chico stuff and also uh, prepare um, proposals, research proposals, which can be used for application for third party funding. That's it. At the moment, I think next time I can tell a lot more than that, but that's uh, what we did during the last six months. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Hans Schur, uh, for the reporting of uh, excellent progress of Jigo Saha. Uh, any questions, comments to Hans Schur? Excellent. Uh, everything is clear. So, uh, yeah, uh, thank you again uh, for the report.